Hey, I'm Teresa Lusk with the Teresa Lusk Show, and I'm here with the amazing Rafael Cruz. Mr. Cruz, thank you for taking just a few minutes to speak with me. Of course. I want to talk about what's going on right now in our country because there seems to be a Democrat versus Republican, and one of the things that a lot of conservatives are being accused of is being racist. Now, you're a Latino, I'm a Latina, and I'm voting Republican. I'm not afraid to say that. And there's reasons for that. Can you share a little bit about why you are a conservative? Well, I have seen communism firsthand. I'm originally from Cuba, and I have seen communism firsthand. And so I know the dangers of communism. And today's Democratic Party is a communist party. Yeah. What we have in Washington to see today is a communist party. And actually, if you listen to what Kamala Harris wants to do, is straight communism. Mm -hmm. Price controls is at the very top of the Communist Manifesto. And, uh, you know, getting rid of race, uh, getting rid of a man and a woman. There's no such a thing as a man and a woman. We have, we have a depravity with the children, little boys being told, you're not a boy, you're a girl trapped in a boy's body. You know what they're saying? God made a mistake. God doesn't make mistakes. That's right. But it's an abomination. Right. And children are being hoodwinked into mutilating their bodies. In many cases, it's not reversible. And what nobody's telling you is you, if you do a little bit of research among those people who have had this mutilation surgery, many of them commit suicide because they cannot, many of them regret it after it's happened and they can't do anything about it. So the rate of suicide is skyrocketing. And these children are not mature enough emotionally to make a decision that will destroy their lives forever. That is really unfortunate. You know, there's this, uh, in addition to thinking that uh, Republicans are racist, they think that we just want to do away with people's freedoms. But I wonder, is it the other way around? Based on what Absolutely you're saying. Absolutely it is the other way around. You know, Republican values is basically go back to to uh, the, the declaration life liberty and the pursuit of happiness we need to understand happiness is not a right it's the pursuit of happiness that means you work for it Ooh, free gift is not in the bible right. as a matter of fact the apostle paul said he who doesn't work doesn't eat that's right yeah and and as a matter of fact right now we have this welfare mentality and people want the government to take care of yes. it. That doesn't work. Right, right. And I, it, yes, you're right. I think that's what's happening with the Democrat Party. Would sure. you say that's correct? Yes, it's a party of handouts. And what has happened is, for example, you look at what the, this concept of welfare, all that welfare does is keep you in poverty. That's right. The greatest thing about America is the opportunity to achieve the American dream. That's right. We don't want equality of outcome, which is what Kamala Harris is saying in her very own words. Equality of outcome is communism. No, you want equality of opportunity. There you go. Let's go. But if you work twice as hard as I do, you deserve twice as much That's as right. I do. Yes, but there's That's a attack. freedom of free enterprise. Yes, yes. But there's an attack on that ideology. And so that's one of the things that I think our nation is really being struck by right now. Young people are going to have to make a very important decision. We cannot keep going about it in emotion only. Look at your pocketbooks. Look at what's going on in the nation with safety. Um, we don't lack compassion. The Republican Party do not, they don't lack compassion. We just want to keep our nation safe now and in the future. But you know something, a handout is not compassion. We need to give a hand up. There you go. We need to help people get out of their state by hard work and perseverance. That's right. That's, That's right. what made America the greatest country in the face of the earth. You know something very interesting? When those pilgrims arrived at Plymouth, Massachusetts, the second year there, they decided to try a communist experiment. They said to Governor Bradford, Governor, why don't we all work the land together and share equally on what the land produces? Well, that experiment was a total failure. And you can see why. Because maybe you are very strong and you're working 12 hours a day, but I wasn't as strong or as committed. Maybe I was working two hours a day. 
and we're going to get the same outcome. How long are you going to work 12 hours while I work two and we get the same result? Probably no more than a week. And then you say, I'm not working any more than that guy. So nobody worked. They almost starved to death. Well, there you go. You have it from the very own Rafael Cruz. He understands what it means for your nation to be communist. You have it from a man who's actually watched it in real life. My friends, pay attention to what you're voting for. Ask for policy. We're at a point where we can't even get an interview or a person who's going to lead the nation to ask, answer questions. This is a very important time in our nation. Please do your research. Thank you so much, Mr. Cruz. Thank you so much. God bless, God bless you. you. I'm Teresa Lusk.